Hey guys, welcome back. And today, let me show you some Ipata. Although the town is located three hours away from the city of Santa Cruz, it seems that you're going further because of the large population of expats living here and mixing with the culture, with the local culture, it creates its own unique community. It's crazy, yesterday we were received with a lot of rain and just fog but that just shows you how crazy the this meeting point of climate is it's a meeting point for three different climates and that's because it's at the foothill of the andes so you get the andes climate uh, chiquitania and amazonian climate and you can see that everywhere yeah. The most popular attractions here in Samaipata are definitely El Fuerte de Samaipata, the Fern Forest, and now the vineyards that have been coming up because they've realized that the soil is great for wine producing. So you've got you've got Inca Pass, you can go to the prehistoric forest, you've got a little bit of Italy and from other parts of the world so let's get going guys Hey guys, so we just arrived at El Fuerte de Samaipata and we are about to explore this archaeological site that dates to pre-Columbian times and it's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The thing is about this place, it isn't a normal archaeological site. It wasn't built, it was carved into the rock. So come follow me, let's check it out. This is the fort right here, and I have to say, it is not what I remembered or expected. What I remember was huge, you know, but that was in the time when I was this big. And I haven't been here for about 10 years or more. You feel amazed by the work of people that came before you? I would have wanted to see it in, in all its glory. I mean, what a place to build. This is crazy guys, so there is more than I expected. When I was a kid, I came here and this wasn't dug up yet. So archeological discoveries are still being made to this day and will be made in the future. Just imagine what's hiding out there, waiting for it to be discovered. Just think of that, whoa. 
Having traveled back in time, our next destination takes us to a place where we wished we would have had more time. Guys, we're in the middle of the Refugio Zoológico and basically it's a refugee. It's a refugee for animals that have been saved from animal trade and uh, are here in re rehabilitation waiting to be released to the wild. And I have to say there's quite a selection. Definitely come check, check out, uh, support this program. It's beautiful. Let me show you some of the things we can find. not expecting to find this on, on this place but apparently this is an interactive place so you can go in the cages so yeah let's do it close that one first There's one animal that might bite us and it's a parrot called Federico. You're amazed. This is crazy. This place will just bring you to your childhood. You know, seeing and interacting with animals and being nibbled on, it's just amazing. Totally amazing, guys. And I think, you know, as you can see the sun setting, we end our day with this beautiful experience. Do come to Zoológico Refugio, see the amazing animals and be careful where you step on. Gotta get that shit off. Some tips on how to find a place where to stay in Samaipata, guys. There are many places, but you have to book in advance because this is a very popular destination and a lot of people come here during the weekend especially. If you come during the weekday, I'm sure you won't have a problem if you want to find something in here, but book your place. And there's a couple of, 
there's a lot of good places that you can you can rent out cabins uh hostels but i would recommend cabins and they're not that expensive it's 60 dollars 40 and higher you know always higher and here are some some suggestions where you could stay and like i said i do recommend the cabins because you can fit more people and with more people you pay less basic mathematics right there and you get all the amenities to have a great weekend with that being said let's go to town i gotta say the climate here in Samay Prata has been crazy we woke up freezing and now the sun's out and it's actually getting hot like i don't need this anymore but first mission of the day we're looking for a place to eat breakfast if you want local food this is the place to go tia maria la bohem a great bar with craft beers and incredible sandwiches more beautiful coffee shops Hey guys, so here we are with our guide and we are about to embark in our hike. Hola, mi nombre es Roberto Carlos. Ya estamos en mi operadora, el caminante tour, y estamos con Pablo y Ana, que vamos a ahora hacer el, la caminata de, de, del bosque de los helechos gigantes en el Parque Amoró. Vamos a recorrer 7 kilómetros en una altitud de 2400 metros. Vamos a conocer estas magníficas plantas, ¿no? Los, El hecho gigante que son plantas prehistóricas. Travel back in time, yo. See you there. It's not every day you get to walk in a forest which has the characteristics of forests back when dinosaurs roamed the earth. And no, I'm not saying this particular forest comes from the Cretaceous period, but you will definitely find some history here, and that's where we're headed. Ferns that are a thousand years old, or even older. Every step we take, we're getting closer to the forest of the ferns. I feel like at any time, a dinosaur is gonna come out and snatch at me. Snatch my little face. My pretty face. are about 10 meters tall that makes it old like that makes it over a thousand years old because it grows one to five centimeters each year pictures this food is doesn't justice but it's like the land before time we would have definitely gotten lost if we came alone I mean it's not that long of a hike but there are many trails 
well not many but a couple of trails that would definitely lead you astray Again, we're the only people here. This is very thick, very crazy. Medio del sendero, creo, ¿no? Sí. Sí. I wasn't following the path because of talking to you guys. Colorful bars and cafes to its breathtaking landscapes. This is just a place that draws you in and begs you to stay. This has been one of our favorite stops so far, you know, bringing our inner child out as well as our adventurous side. With that being said, thanks for watching. Hope you like the video. See you later. Salah.